everyone, so today I'm doing a TMI Tuesday video. I haven't done one for two weeks because last week I put up the boyfriend tag instead. So if you haven't seen my boyfriend tag video, I will link it up top. But this week I'm getting back into my TMI Tuesday. And do you guys want me to do them every single week or do you want me to do them bi-weekly? I don't know if it kind of gets like old for you watching me answer questions, but if it does, just let me know. If not, then I'm just going to continue doing them weekly because I do have fun doing them and answering all your questions and talking to you guys in the comments, so let me know how you feel about it. Okay, so Christina Arsnick asks the first question, <laughs> she asks, can you raise only one eyebrow at a time? Yeah, I guess that's the question. I can, I can raise all my eyebrows, all of them, all two of them, any which way I want, I guess. You also ask, what do you value most in other people? I value positivity and I value kindness. Um, obviously honesty would be a big one too, but I think you can tell if someone's positive and if they react in a positive way to situations and if they're going to react in a kind way and I really respect people when they're like that. Sweet Angel 631 asks, where is that pink dress from on the right and the light blue floral one? The pink dress actually is in this bag. It is a Betsy Johnson one. I believe you're talking about this one. Um, it's from Betsy Johnson and the light blue floral one, this one I think you're talking about, is from Mink. Zed Fana asks, as a YouTube guru, do you ever think that after posting so many videos and pictures, do you think that it invades my privacy a little bit? Kind of, but in a good way, I guess. Like it's, I feel that it's really nice to have an online documentation of kind of my daily life. Like, as you guys know, this isn't just a beauty channel. It's like a lifestyle channel and I do follow me around. I do cooking videos. I do whatever I kind of want to post and I love doing as much beauty as possible but there's more to it than just that. So I do share more of my life than just what I'm wearing or what my makeup looks like. So sometimes that does feel like I have to put a lot of my life out there but I also think I create a pretty good balance because there is a lot of stuff that you guys don't know and you don't need to know. So. I think I do a good job at creating a balance, but sometimes, yeah, it feels like, oh my gosh, people know a lot about me. Liskin, or L-I-I-S-E-K-N, I don't know how to pronounce your username. You ask, have I ever been to Europe, and if so, do I have a favorite country or place, and where would I like to visit in Europe? Uh, yes, I have. I went to Europe for about a month when I was in... Grade 11, at the end of grade 11, I went with my grandma, and um, my grandma's Finnish, so I'm a quarter Finnish, and we went to Finland, we went to ooh, Estonia, and I think that was it for that trip. But we traveled around a lot in Finland and a bit in Estonia, and I loved it. I thought it was so much fun going, and I would say that I met cool people, but they all spoke Finnish, <laughs> and so I couldn't really talk to anybody, because like... Everybody was my grandma's age, like obviously she had all of her friends there because, I mean, her family and friends are Finnish and they were all in their 60s, 70s and they all spoke Finnish and no English, but their kids went to school and learned English. But if you're 60 or 70, your kids are already grown up with like kids of your own, so there wasn't really anyone for me to talk to. So I wish that my Europe trip had a bit more conversation in it. It was a very silent month where I only listened to my iPod and kind of checked everything out. So I'd like the chance to do Europe, Europe, why did I say that so funny, I don't know. I'd like the chance to do Europe and do it with like a friend or backpacking with Glenn or somehow and actually like get to explore and get to know people and talk to people and have a good time. Bearpaws99 asks, where do you think will be the next place that you're living slash moving? I have no idea. Um, I know that I'm going home in Canada, going home to Canada in June, but other than that, I don't really know. I think Glenn and I are talking about staying in Australia and maybe getting some more schooling or kind of adventuring down under still. So I think we'll probably be basing ourselves in Australia for the next while, but who's to say? I have no idea what the next couple of years look like. The Alexandria Garza asks, do you think I'm going to get married soon? God no. Why? Why do I get married young? That's just... I don't know, I guess if, if you really feel that strongly about it and that's that important to you, that, that's great and I mean congratulations, but there's so much of your life that you can live and not be married. I mean, why would I want to pay so much money towards a wedding and, and being a wife when I could put that money towards Glenn and I taking a trip or us putting a down payment on a car or on a boat or 
anything. I mean, anything. You don't need to be married. What's the point? I mean, it doesn't mean that we're any less committed to one another. It's just something that we just don't need to do right away. It's not something that I want to rush. One day, though. The Fashion Beauty 7 asks, would you ever consider getting permanent makeup done? No, no, no. I don't want permanent makeup. I, I would feel like that would kill all of my creativity. Like, I love waking up in the morning and having this idea of what look I want to do, and if you permanently had something done on your face, I mean, that would kind of kill the fact that you want to do something different. I, I don't know. I don't think that'd be for me. Miss Mash 19 asks, what did I do with my kitty when I moved? And then you miss seeing him in my videos. <sighs> I miss Obi too. I miss him so much. We Skype sometimes, which sounds kind of creepy cat lady-ish and kind of weird, but <laughs> we... We get to Skype, my mom and dad have him at their house, and he's adjusting well, apparently. And he can hear me, but he doesn't really understand the whole camera thing. So when I talk to him, you can see his head pokes up, and he looks around, and he's like, what, where is she? But I don't get to live with him for now, so that really sucks. And I miss him to bits, and anybody that's ever had to be away from a pet for a long period of time totally knows how I feel. It's heart-wrenching. And my last question today comes from Melon Shots. Devin, hey, you asked what sports did I do growing up? I was a little tomboy, like, oh my gosh, when I go home, I have to show you guys, like, some old pictures of me or something, but that won't be until June. I had, like, the full buzz cut, and, like, I was a little boy, like, I was a complete little boy. So I love playing hockey, I love playing soccer, baseball. I played football at lunch with the boys. I never played on a football team because I was always too small and a girl. But I did play rugby for a couple games when we had a rugby team in grade 7. But yeah, mostly just hockey and I played softball, like I said, for probably 3 or 4 years and I had a lot of fun doing that. I was such a sporty kid growing up. So that's all my questions today, guys. I hope that you send me some more questions in for next week. Just leave them below. If I didn't answer your question, I'm sorry. I'll try and get to it next week. Just to let you know, I'm going to New Zealand ah, for two weeks on next Monday or Tuesday or something. So I won't have my filming room. It'll be a little bit different setup. I do want to do a couple exercise videos. If you guys are interested, please let me know below. I don't know if you guys want to see that, but I know that lots of you do and some of you might not, so if you don't want to watch it, don't worry about it, just don't click on those videos. If you do, like them, share them, get them out there for me so that I know to do more. Thanks so much for watching guys, and remember to like me on Facebook, subscribe on Twitter, I have Instagram, check it out, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!